Could artificial intelligence be the greatest existential threat to mankind? Or might it be our greatest ally, propelling us into a new era of prosperity and technological advancement? These questions fuel the debates on the impact of AI on society. The past week has seen significant developments in AI governance and policy that could shape the trajectory of this powerful technology. For starters, the Pentagon, in response to concerns about the militarization of AI, has updated its policy on AI weapons. The new rules include a more rigorous review process for approving autonomous weapon systems. This move is seen as an attempt to ensure that AI weapon development adheres to strict rules and oversight. The military is especially interested in AI drones, showing a keenness to develop autonomous systems on a grand scale. In other news, the Office of Science and Technology Policy has unveiled a blueprint for an AI Bill of Rights. This critical document provides guidelines to mitigate potential harms and biases in AI. The blueprint outlines five principles to guide the design and use of automated systems and aims to protect the public and uphold values. This pivotal document serves as a foundation for advancing governance in AI and aligning legal language globally. Simultaneously, OpenAI, a leading company in artificial general intelligence, AGI, has been in the spotlight. Its CEO, Sam Altman, was fired and then reinstated, raising questions about his leadership and the future of OpenAI. Altman believes AGI could be a reality within the next four to five years. However, the risks and ethical implications of AGI remain concerns. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has released AI ethics and governance guidance for professionals and organizations using AI models in healthcare. This crucial step acknowledges the rapidly growing role of AI in healthcare and the need for ethical guidelines. In an effort to protect consumers, state attorneys general in the US are urging regulators to restrict the use of AI in telemarketing. This move comes in response to an increasing number of unwanted calls and texts from AI-powered telemarketing systems. Finally, OpenAI has suspended a bot developer for presidential hopeful Dean Phillips, citing misuse of its AI tools in a political campaign. This incident marks a first in the intersection of AI and politics and raises important questions about the ethical use of AI in political campaigns. These developments highlight the rapidly evolving landscape of AI governance and policy. As AI continues to advance and permeate various sectors, the question remains, how can we harness the power of AI while ensuring it remains a force for good? The answer lies in the balance of innovation and regulation. It's an exciting yet challenging time in the world of artificial intelligence. One thing is certain, the conversation about AI's impact on society is just getting started.